Hello everybody, the third and final star player for the Chaos Dwarf book coming out is Zarg Mardai. There you go, he looks great with his shooting his blunderbuss with a ball in it. Um, looks, does he look a little bit bigger than a normal Chaos Dwarf? We don't know, but um, yeah, he looks pretty cool, doesn't he? He's got the horns, he's got the big hat. He's, got, he's standing on the skull of a dwarf. Pretty nice. Um... And there is a new article about him on the Warhammer community page, which I will link in the description. Um, there you go. He is back. Zarg Mad Eye. There's the picture. He's got a mad eye as well. <laughs> you can see there. Um, attention to detail. I mean, it, the detail is incredible, isn't it, on the model, actually, to be fair. So there you go. It's a blunderbuss and it's got a ball in. It's got some screws and stuff. And, uh, yep, he has all the passing skills you'd expect, including Hail Mary Pass, Cannoneer, Nose of Steel, and PA3+. Plus. So, like Barrack Farblast, he's a very good passer of the ball, which isn't really something you're going to need. <laughs> but he can also shoot people with his blunderbuss now. Finally, nice art. Then I started blasting. The old Danny DeVito thing. <laughs> Incredible. One for Americans in the audience here. Yeah. So, I mean, this is pretty powerful, isn't it? This is a pretty powerful ability. Once per half. So you get to use it twice in the game. Obviously, you're probably just going to use it on defense. Um, but, you know, you could be on defense both halves, right? If you score early and stuff. At the start of his activation, Zarg may perform a Blunderbuss Blast special action. When he does, you select a standing opposition player within three squares and roll a d6. On a three plus, you get him. Now, he's not knocked over anything, right? On a three plus, the selected player is hit. You make an unmodified armor roll and subsequent injury roll if necessary. On a two, the opposing coach selects a player... From either team, but not Zarg, within three squares. So if he's somehow on his own, it will have to be another one of his players. But, you know, they're almost certainly going to choose one of your players. And then they're hit. And on a one, Zarg is hit instead. If the armor of the player is not broken, nothing happens. But if it's one of your players, it will be a turnover, right? Because they'll be knocked down when their armor is broken. Um, but, I mean, that's just incredible, isn't it? A range of three squares is actually very, very far. Um, you're going to want to put him, you know, directly behind the LOS, probably on defense. And it's going to be hard to get a hit on him, especially if he's still strength four. Um, you can play for Badlands Brawl in favor of Hashut. So obviously the only flavored of Hashut team we have is Chaos Dwarves. Maybe that will be an option for like Chaos teams and Renegades and stuff. Um, unknown, but... At the moment, favoured of Hashut is, is, you know, expect it to only be Chaos Dwarves. Badlands Brawl is uh, is covered here. So Black Orcs, Chaos Dwarves, Goblins, Ogres and Orcs can hire him. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what his stats and stuff are. So this is what he used to be. He used to be 90k and he used to be Strength 4. No block. Which is interesting, right? Because maybe that's the that's the route the um, fire breathers will go down. He was also used to be agility three, so I guess now he'll stay agility two plus. Uh, sorry, stay agility four plus, but get the PA three plus, right? And he used to have hail mary pass, and he had strong arm. So strong arm is the one that's been kind of changed to cannoneer, um, and he's gained. He's gained nerves of steel, so he's you know he's at least a little bit different from this. But he used to also have pass and sure hands and of course tackle and thick skull. But I guess that will be replaced by um, iron hard skin and thick skull. One would expect, of course, loner, you know, presumably four plus. But the, I mean, the big question is how cheap will he be, and will he keep strength four? And of course, secret weapon as well. I mean, surely, surely he will keep secret weapon. But he could be very powerful indeed. On like, I liked him as a 90k strength four player for a half. 
really good. What's interesting is the ability is once per half, isn't it? I guess you've got you know you've got bribes and stuff. You're, you're unlikely to get that much out of the ability. You know you're probably going to play him on defense and use his ability basically. But um, it will be interesting because you know if you've got bribes and stuff, then you could use it more than once. Um, in the game, but yeah, chances are it's a one use thing. But I mean, he could be he could actually be really good because the stars have been cheaper, and uh, yeah, in fact, he look, he used to play for Chaos Dwarves or Chaos Pact, so maybe they will let Pact choose. Uh, well, Chaos Renegades as they are now, maybe Chosen of Hushut will be a thing. I'd assume they'll errata the Chosen of special rule so that you know people can choose things other than Corn, Nurgle, Slanesh, Zinch, Undivided, and you'd imagine. It'll, it should may, may be an option. I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it, for Chaos Chosen teams? So maybe Chaos Renegades could. Maybe they'll do it something like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, whatever they do, I'm sure it'll be interesting to find out, won't it? And uh, yeah, there's the model again. Looks very good. I, I think honestly, I'm actually, I'm maybe more hyped for him. I think, I think Hathark. If 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 Hathark is strength six, I've heard a rumor. I've heard a rumour that Hathark is going to be strength 6 with the defensive um, skill. If Hathark is strength 6, he's going to be very tasty for 300. Like, 300 is, is still expensive, right? Like, that's why I think he should be strength 6. Because Morg is 340 and Morg is ridiculous, right? With Mighty Blow plus 2. So, you know, Hathark, really cool. Um, Rashnak doesn't seem quite as good. But Zarg can be very interesting. I mean, surely he has to keep secret weapon and look at it. So, But, you know, if you get lucky with the argue the call, if you get some bribes, you could be a force to be reckoned with. So there you go. That is the three stars that are in the coming up spike that have the Chaos Dwarf rules in. And, uh, yep, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.